So the earth is groaning for the revealing of the sons of God. We know it because of all the things that's occurring in the earth, the natural disasters, um, the wars and rumors of wars, the political dynamic we're into, uh, the race against race, the division amongst the church, the division amongst people. People hearts are growing weary, the giving and uh, the, the marrying and giving in marriage. So open marriage, uh, transgender, um, the the feeling like, you know, I want to be a man and God, you got it wrong. I'm not a woman. I'm a man. So I'll, I'll just change myself. Um, homosexuality and all these things, the abortion, everything that is against God or anti God's way is now seemingly rampantly happen, happening. And Jesus said, when all these things happen, look now, uh, look up because your redemption draws near. So the earth is groaning for the revealing of the sons of God. And seemingly it seems as though the kingdom of darkness kingdom is advancing far above the kingdom of God and the kingdom of light. But really it's not what it seems. Even though it looks like it is, God is building or has built a church, a remnant to shine in the darkness and consume it. He is building the last day church. Um, it, he said in his word, you know, eyes haven't seen nor ears heard the things that God has in store for them who love him and who are called according to his purpose. The things that we are going to do when you see all this evil, all this darkness, do not allow your heart to faint because God is going to do what he said he's going to do. And the revealing that chosen generation, that royal priesthood will be revealed in the earth. So. When we think about Jesus, Jesus showed up on the scene and he was led into the wilderness. I find that so many uh, people of God are going through tests and trials and seemingly it looks like they're being defeated. But really, it's in the test and the trial that you are made. Okay, so let's. it's through the test and trial that you are made. If we go to scripture, you think about Jesus when he went in the wilderness. He was led up by the spirit. To endure the test and trial that the enemy would bring towards him. And when he endured and he overcame, he came out and he turned water into the wine. And from that day forward, it began his ministry. When we think about the disciples, they're walking with Jesus, they're living with Jesus, they're following his way. And then when it came time for the crucifixion, seemingly they fell away. They denied him, they left him, they went back to what they knew. And then Jesus showed up. And restored them and then the Holy Spirit fell and what we have now today is a remnant of what they birthed through the Holy Spirit leading and guiding them so seemingly it looked like they were lost and it was done but really what God was doing was showing them their wilderness experience so that they could endure and make it through it and because they endured because they went through it they got filled with the Holy Spirit and went forth and changed their whole dynamic their whole world when we think about Moses we think about the guilt and shame that he had because he murdered a man he went and hot hid and then the Lord showed up to him he had his wilderness experience where he climbed a mountain to see God a burning bush that wasn't consumed but it spoke and he went through the test and trial so that he could stand before Pharaoh and say thus says the Lord let my people go so because he endured, he went forth and changed the whole dynamic of a generation for the children of Israel and led them out uh, to do great and mighty things. So many people of God or men of God and women of God endured. And then when they endured and when they made it through, they went forth preaching and teaching. And that's where we are right now. It seems as though the children of darkness is winning. They're gaining ground. They're gaining territory. But oh, I would tell you something about my God. Even though that they're, it seems as though they're doing something great and mighty, they are not. It looks as though the church is asleep. But the church is arising. And we will do all that God said we will do. We will change the dynamic and the trajectory of this world. We are world change agents. We are the royal priesthood, the chosen generation that will proclaim the name of the Lord. We will go into the land. Right now we're spying out the land. We will go into the land and possess it and bring the kingdom of heaven on earth as it is in heaven. So right now, seemingly, it seems as though 
The children of darkness is gaining territory, but really, they are not. We are going to have a suddenly moment. As long as we endure, as long as we hold fast to our faith and the promises that God has revealed to us, we will do all the things that God has called us to. We will trump over serpents. We will heal and people will rise from the dead. People will be healed from all sickness and disease because as so it is in heaven, so shall it be on the on earth and in earth there is no sickness in earth there is no disease in earth there is no pain we will be consumed by the spirit of the living god here on earth and we will do all the things that he called us to do so putting satan on notice we are here and we will take over all that belongs to god because god has been given power in heaven and in earth he is god almighty so what he said he will do, he will do. So do not let your heart fail, but hold fast. Get into your word. Seek God. Press in. Because God is about to do something that we have never seen before. Such a great cloud of witness that is backing us up to go forth and preach the kingdom of God. The kingdom is here. The kingdom is now. We will possess the land that God has left for us as an inheritance. And we will go forth so that souls may be saved. So people will know who they are and whom they are. We have not fallen away. God is doing what he said he will do. So know that it looks bleak. It looks glim. It looks, man, it looks like they are winning. But they are not. We're in a war. And in a war, it may seem one, one way one day. But oh, but God. So I just wanted to jump on and say, do not grow weary when you see all these things happening, just know that our redemption is drawing nearer and we, the chosen generation, will stand forth and proclaim the name of the Lord with no fear, with all power, with all might, fully anointed with the Holy Spirit, going forth to lay hands, going forth to minister with confidence, without fear, without shame, without guilt, consumed by the Spirit of God. Oh, man, y'all ain't ready for what's about to happen. What's about to take place? A suddenly moment is coming. Oh, man, and right now it is. So right now, we we may it may seem one way. We may be in our wilderness experience where we're being made, where we're enduring, where we're, we're, we're getting the charge and the call that God has called us to. But, oh, glory be to God, because the revealing is happening now. In Jesus' mighty name, I love you people of God. You guys have a great day. Get ready. Let's go.